in this video we're going to answer the question how to organize your website pages for SEO okay uh, the best way to do that is really to focus on the products or services that your business sells so here's a look at my website and you have the, the usual home about you know whatever you may have but here's the key uh, the services page now if you notice my services page we offer a variety of different services so each service has its own page so if I go to SEO see we have our own SEO page and the reason I mention that is because here's a look at a, a website of a friend of mine and I'm showing you this because we're actually in the process of redoing this site so maybe by the time you see this video it will no longer be like this hopefully um, but you can see this is sort of a classic mistake is that a business maybe your business would list all the different services that you offer and they're all lumped together so you're not able to add meta tags and all of the, the search engine optimization tools that we've been talking about uh, to each one individually so like for instance going back to my site if you see search, this is the search engine optimization page and if you look up in the corner you'll see the unique title tag professional search engine optimization services New Jersey that's that was our money keyword phrase so here's the code you can look at anybody's code by going to to uh, view source and you'll see here's the title tag professional search engine optimization services New Jersey now that is different from pay-per-click advertising which has pay-per-click advertising in the in the uh, title tag because we're trying to have that page come up for pay-per-click we don't want this page coming up for search engine optimization any more than we want it coming up for um, inbound linking programs or email marketing I mean email marketing also has its own set of meta tags you see it says email marketing in the title so the bottom line is you want to make sure that each page has unique title tags unique meta tags uh, which include the keyword tags and the description tags that we talked about in previous videos now here's just a, a quick look at the benefit of doing that um, here is the title tag from our SEO page professional search engine optimization services New Jersey and you can see I'm not logged into Google you want to make sure that you're not logged in when you run these kinds of tests for your own keywords to see where you are because as we've mentioned before Google will show you uh, specific results when you're signed in based on who you are and where you are but when you're not signed in um, you'll get more natural search results not necessarily tailored for you so if I did this is professional search engine optimization services New Jersey you can see there we are on page one for our money phrase for this page so you want each page to have a chance at coming up in the search res results for you uh, as we've talked about previously sometimes the classic mistake is to try to um, make all your pages come up for all your keywords that's not the way it works you want to have certain keywords associated with specific pages on your website okay so that's the way to uh, organize your website the best way for search engine optimization is to, is to divide up all your products and services into their own unique pages so that you can SEO each page uniquely. Thank you, hope you find it useful. See you next time. If you enjoyed this information and would like to receive 20 free videos of the top questions that people ask about search engine optimization, and also get a free copy of what you must know about SEO in plain English, please visit the website on your screen.